We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Michael Mayer, Raiders tight end, and he's finally being unleashed, you know, rookie player. Didn't get a lot of opportunities in those first few weeks, but these last two games versus the Patriots, Packers, he's become a major part of this offense, and it's really fun to see, like, he's getting open versus man-to-man, -man, running some good routes. He's been reliable over his zone, just finding some soft spots, good understanding, you know, of what defenses are doing, and he's just been a reliable target, good hands catcher, and even can make some plays after the catch. I like this play, you know, specifically getting him involved. This is a third and seven situation. Drag across the field. Raiders are running clear out from the left and then just a mesh concept underneath versus the Patriots cover one. And clearly he's like the, you know, main target on this right here because these guys run clear outs. Myers and him are running the mesh and they're, he's basically, Myers supposed to get the rub over the top, get him to get around this. So he's clearly the main goal here, get him the ball. And then get upfield, make a guy miss in space, showing off some athleticism, breaking a tackle, carrying guys forward, doing multiple different things, showing off some toughness, but also that like nice lateral agility. He moves decently well for a guy who's not, you know, the most fluid tight end of all time. Can be a little stiff sometimes, but he understands how to, you know, make guys miss, set people up in the route stem, as you'll see throughout the video. And then just finding those soft spots for his zone. I feel like if you picked up Mayer in fantasy, like some redraft leagues this past week, you're probably feeling pretty good because I feel like to me, he's a solid start for the rest of the season. Like, won't always have amazing games, but which tight end really is other than the top two. But here, getting him chipped. Find the soft spot versus some Tampa 2 from the Patriots here. Get turned around. It's a third and two situation. He just gets past the sticks, and he makes himself an easy target for the quarterback. Get your hands up. Square up this up. Catch it. And then look how he shifts his momentum. As the ball is thrown, he's shifting his hips away with the flow of the ball to get uphill get upfield immediately so he can pick up some extra yards after the catch that's like good nuanced play uh to shift your hips and momentum like that uh, when you know you have all that space to work with to get as many yards as possible after the catch this plays offsides and Mayer doesn't even get targeted but i do like this route from him you can see him giving a little one two at the top of the route stem would like to see him get this coverage because this guy's got way off coverage leverage to the inside so he's going where he wants to Gives a little bit of a sneak move to the inside and then hard stab to the outside. So you give them that first move. And usually that first move is the fake. DBs know that. And then that second double step right there is like that hard stab. Make it look like you're going to go to the outside. Get this guy to move over the top. And then you have separation to the inside. The safety is also hard committing this way because he sees the ball thrown. But this is like overall just focusing on Mayer. A pretty solid route for a rookie tight end. Some fluidity in his steps there. Uh, like what I'm seeing from him just overall all around rookie tight ends usually don't play that well but there, there's actually a lot of guys playing well i was a big fan of mayor i really love sam laporta and they're all really stepping up in their rookie seasons another play where mayor doesn't get targeted because but he's at least getting like he's getting more and more productive but he's also like getting open on plays where he's not even getting targeted so i just feel like that's going to be even more production when they go back and watch the film facing some man-to-man -man here first like the safety he's able to lean into him we saw him you know create some separation when he used some athleticism, some nuance in his route, some here, he just leans in and then gets some physicality to create separation. You want to be able to do that as a tight end. Sometimes it's not going to be all, you know, perfect. Setting things up beautifully, you got to be able to get physical to create separation, and that's really nice. Um, and not too much either. Like, maybe they could call PI on offense on this type of play, but it's not too overselling it. He doesn't fully extend with that right hand to create that s separation. He just gets, like, the lean-in sort of, you know chicken wing type separation there and then he was open it ends up you know being an interception thrown to Devontae Adams but Mayer is looking good in a lot of his reps Mayer getting open for some zone this is interesting because he's lined up to the bottom it's a third and six like you're never thinking he's going to get targeted verse cover three just running the vertical but things break down and he just does a good job adjusting love the athleticism to the body control the balance he's just basically running this to basically be a sort of a clear out just pull this DB with him so they can possibly throw the seam here. But this guy cheats the inside. So he starts slowing down, feels his space, sees the quarterback, find that spot, becomes an easy target, good adjustment to the ball, makes a guy miss, gets his feet taken out from underneath him, but he still has that balance, body control to stay on his feet, fall forward for an extra few yards, that in-air athleticism. Really, really nice to see from Mayer. I was really impressed with what I saw these last two weeks. And uh, I feel like you can't just put this, you know, back in the bottle type thing for the Raiders because they really didn't use him at all in those first few weeks. And now they started using him a little bit versus the Packers, and then he just, like, broke out versus the Patriot. Third and eight situation, Meyer recognizes this open part in the middle of the field. He's running just, like, sort of, like, this quick seam, and he just can make his adjustment, just glance route it. 
So nice side adjust, good adjustment from this rookie. That's a smart football play. He sees this guy blitz, so he just snaps his head around right away. Knows the quarterback's going to be hot, so he becomes the hot route. He catches it. Ball is coming out a little bit late to him, but he still is able to hang on in a contested situation. And then fall right around the first down marker. I think he ends up picking it up. This is just good, uh, good awareness for Michael May Mayer. Want to see this from the rookie. That's going to get you more and more playing time when you're making those de decisions on the fly. The coaches are going to love that. And you're going to get more and more opportunities, become more of a focal point in this offense. Now we're going to the Packers game for Michael Mayer. He got involved right away. Not as crazy as the stat line, but they clearly made him uh, more of a choice because they went out in this game and quickly just throw the, the slide underneath, play action, boot to him. He ends up coming up open, catch the ball transition up field and you can see the burst too some speed after the catch i feel like he was an underrated athlete coming out of notre dame because his final year he didn't look as explosive but you can see the explosiveness right here because he was dealing with some injuries clearly went a little bit lower than he probably should have in the draft just because of those injuries and now you can see the raiders are sort of you know reaping the benefits from it uh good setup as well like the angle he takes you can see um not getting super like flat down he's angling this towards the line of scrimmage like he might take on this defensive end and then once he gets close enough adjust so that defensive end has no chance to change directions or slow him down and then he has that speed to build up make some plays out in space michael mayer really just been doing it all for this raiders offense over the past two weeks and it's uh even on plays he's not getting targeted he's making an impact last play that we're gonna break down for michael mayer here we get to see him go out into the routes and get physical stop the reroute and then make a catch behind the zone get physical after the catch as well this is the stuff i like to see from your tight ends working the middle of the field have some fearlessness just going up number seven is trying to slow him down reroute him doesn't allow that to happen throws him off right away gets him out of that zone sees these guys are pulling up from the play action so he snaps his head around right when he gets in between these two guys uh, and then floats in away from them so they can't give him any depth and he's still in front of the corners and safety makes the catch above the frame even though he has no idea if he's about to be destroyed that's good toughness fearlessness and then even after the catch like throwing some shoulders trying to punish defenders even though he just caught the ball this is good stuff here from the rookie pretty much all around from the initial start of the play to the actual catch itself and then trying to finish being a physical player after the catch that's what you want to see out of that player loved uh really going back digging into some of his film his blocking i know i didn't show any real, like blocking plays i just want to focus on his receiving his blocking was like i would say average there was nothing like to stand out on either side like no not many real negative or positive plays that i feel like was like worth breaking down in his run blocking film as of yet which is not a bad thing either for a, t a rookie tight end i think he can still build on it become a better blocker become more of an impact player but he's also not being like a huge detriment back there like missing assignments he's being smart understanding his job just needs to create you know more displacement a little more better understanding of his leverage and positioning because he clearly understands that when running his routes uh love that physicality that he can play with but also has a little bit of finesse and nuance athleticism when he when he needs to versus like certain off man coverage looks so if you guys know the video make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace